So today I'm going to do a shoulder workout. I'm going to try something different and do some drop sets. So I'm going to start off by doing uh, some seated front shoulder presses. And I'm going to start off with 80 and then drop down and see how that feels. And try to do three or four drop sets for my first one. So I warmed up a little. Um, and I'm going to try with uh, 80. So I haven't done a drop set with power blocks in a long time. So there's a couple of options. One, you move the bench by, by where you have the adjustable weight, a rack in my case. Or two, I would take the portion, I would take the weight that I want, the max, let's say like I was doing 95s, and I put it on the ground, and then I would do my set and put them back like in front of the um, bench then adjust the handle and then bring it up. I prefer doing it this way because it's much easier to just just the handle when it's when I'm not bending over. So probably the most more optimal way would be to have everything aligned, but this is pretty good. So, I'm going to slightly increase the weight and start off at 87 and a half and then work my way down with the fun half handles. And I gave myself a minute or two of rest. I'm just trying something different. I'm trying drop sets today instead of just going for max weight. So today's all about drop sets, I guess. So it's 87 and a half.
do that. It's a lesson learned. Drop sits take a lot out of you. So I'm going to wait another minute and then reattempt my second set with 80s. So even though the 80s felt light when I started, doing all the reps of the drop set really weakens the strength. So it's just trial and error. I haven't done this before. So 80. So when I did the four sets, started at 80, 65, 50, and then 35. And I was trying to do eight, eight reps. So I'm going to wait. A minute and then give it another shot. Hopefully after you do this a couple of times you figure out what weight works and then you won't have a mishap like that because if you're failing at the beginning part of the uh, the first set I mean you're never gonna get I mean, it's gotta be at least somewhere near eight or at least half and then you could drop down, but this one I just realized I was like at two or three reps and it wasn't going very well. So I just said, okay, I'll just retry it. I might have to reduce the weight too. 80 might be too hard, but I'll give it another shot. I didn't blow out my shoulder strength, so I think I can do it. Now in theory I should be able to get done, my shoulders should be super pumped within doing maybe a couple exercises with shoulders so we'll see how, minute, how many minutes into the workout I can continue to do shoulders doing it with the drop set method. But I'm going to try after I do this, well let me focus on this first so um, I'm going to give myself another 30 seconds. And I do wish with my bench that I had at some of the gyms they have basically like an, kind of an elevated foot pad where you can get much better leverage to use your legs to get the weight up. Um, I do wonder if maybe if I get rid of this if that will give me any more space or leverage. I don't know. I've always been 